Pisces, everything is literally interconnected and everything is working out for your highest good, okay? I just wanted to start by saying that. Hey, babe, what you doing? <laughs> well, whatever you are doing, I hope that you are feeling wonderful while you are doing it. And as always, it's my intentions that if you are not your ass will be by the end of this reading, okay? All right, and if you are, you'll be feeling even more better, okay? <laughs> All right, it's, uh oh, okay. I don't know, this is totally off subject, but you're gonna meet someone, or you may already know this person. It's something about having a language with someone, like you and this person developing your own language together or some shit. For somebody here, it's with your spirit team, okay? Your own language, probably, probably for all of us, okay? But anyway, go ahead and create that lexicon with your spirit team, your spirit guys, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, Pisces, come on in. So many messages, bruh, from my shirt. Okay, and I just looked at my shirt as I'm sitting down. I'm like, oh my God, this goes, and this is, something is coming into alignment if it's not already there, okay? It is like alignment is happening right now. Do not be surprised if the universe throws a few tests your way, okay? We're gonna talk about all of that. All right, so um, don't forget to hit the like button, show your girl some love, exchange some energies with me, and it also helps me tap further into your energy, right? <clears throat> All right, so um, yeah, and I thank you, and I love you. Let's get into it. So last night, I had a dream. I woke up this morning, I'm like, what the hell was that about? I had a dream that morning doves went extinct. So of course, I'm like, what the fuck? I look it up today, and they're not extinct. <laughs> right so i looked up the symbolism of morning doves and when you have dreams y'all especially those that stand out like that it's like what the why would i dream about morning doves being extinct right the first before i even looked up the meaning of morning doves the first thing i heard from god was your period of mourning is over right your period of loss is done Right, and if it's extinct, that mean that shit can't come back. You understand me? God is fortifying somebody here. You understand? God is fortifying, strengthening, and I heard rebuilding for someone, but building up a structure that is gonna be so fucking strong, nobody can tear that shit up. You understand what I'm telling you? It's in, and when I say the structure, I'm talking about your mind, your belief, <clears throat> okay? Your knowing, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. Your uh, <laughs> how does it? How do you say fides? I think is the Latin word for faith and it means conviction, right? Your conviction, right? Your knowing, <laughs> all right? Yeah. But um, so when I looked up morning doves, the meaning of it, um, okay, since I dreamt that they were extinct, when I asked God, like, what does that mean? <coughs> God said rarity, right? And then God gave me the title of this, this video, which I don't know, I might make it this, I'm pretty sure I will, but you are a rarity and perfect in the sight of God, okay? I don't know if we're gonna keep that away, but obviously you'll see what the title is, right? <laughs> all right, so, um, all right, rarity. I also saw the meaning that they could mean from grief to grace, okay? They also represent hope, peace, love, um, and faith. They are messengers from God and also messengers from the other side. So like support from past over loved ones, okay? <clears throat> so I get out on my walk today and I'm walking through the forest and I see all these freaking, first of all, fairies. I saw three fairies today, okay? <laughs> like real talk, they're not really fairies. They're like big ass grasshoppers, but they look like fairies. It's magical as shit, okay? And I have a, a hello, hi, Pisces. I'm ruled by Neptune. I, get a, I got a big ass imagination. All right, so yeah, but let me show you what I found about this butterfly that um and those are morning doves right there oh look at them aren't they cute hey morning doves <clears throat> the butterfly oh that's the picture i took it's called a gulf fritillary okay gulf fritillary all right and um it is also known as the passion butterfly this is so significant to me because i feel like this message can hit on a, duff, a couple of different levels, right? This could be <clears throat> whether you are manifesting money into your life, manifesting love, luck, favor, blessings, whatever the case may be, okay? <clears throat> so just put the energy where it goes for whatever it is, you know, for your story, because we're reading for the whole entire planet, all right? If you need a personal reading, you can look down below in the description box, or I may have it in the pinned comment. <clears throat> Excuse me, so anyway, Gulf Fritillary, 
all right? As caterpillars, their appearance is not welcoming. They are orange with black, long spines that protrude from their bodies. Y'all, I wish I would have uh, taken a picture of what the caterpillar looked like, but you can look it up. Fritillary is a hell of a word. Sound it out, okay? <laughs> but it's like F-R-I-T-T-I-L-L-A-R-Y or something like that, but you can look up the caterpillar. And y'all, it like the spikes are not little. No, these joints, is they're long. They're long spikes. So um, they look poisonous. They look scary, right? You could have even experienced that in life. Um, people misunderstanding you. Um, you could have even developed protection mechanisms, right? To keep enemies away from you or harm, danger, things like that. But it could also have kept away people that weren't dangerous. You get what I'm saying? I was like, oh my God, this is so in me. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. So while this is a defense mechanism, the long black spines, you know, um, to ward off predators, it can also ward off non-predators, but their spikes are actually soft. Do you know what else this is making me think of right now? Oh my God. What's the name of that tree? Oh my God. It's a witch's burr though, is what they call the little balls. The balls have spikes on them. Oh my goodness. I can't believe I forgot the name of the tree. If it comes to me, I'll let you know. But um, it's giving me that energy as well. All right. So the the gulf fritillary butterfly is um attracted to purple passion flowers okay so purple passion flower uh, pur what <laughs> purple could be someone's favorite color or be significant with purple i usually think of the crown chakra right or maybe the third eye but definitely up in this area third eye crown chakra area right <clears throat> Um, so, you know, that's your intuition, you contacting or um, communicating with your higher self, right? All right. So the purple passion flower represents a connection to the divine. All right. Hospitality, spiritual growth and evolution. And if you look up the meaning to the purple passion flower, you will also find that it is related to Jesus. OK, <clears throat> so maybe Jesus is an ascended master that you work with. All right. Or maybe he wants you to work with him. OK, you know, ascended masters are available to all of us who ask whether it is freaking Shanti, Jesus, um, the Buddha, right, uh, Shiva. Any of the ascended masters, you, you call out to them and ask them for assistance and they will help you. All right, regardless of whatever belief you were, you know, brought up in or you believe in. All right, so <clears throat> I also heard Morena. And I'm like, Morena, what does that mean? Boricua, Morena. That was the first thing I thought about, right? So I don't know. I forgot what song that was on. Joe, I think Joe sang that song. Uh, and Fat, yeah, Fat Joe. And what was the, was the dude name who was singing name Joe too? Might have been. So that name could be significant. Also, Will. I'm a, I got a song here for y'all from Will, if I remember to play it, <clears throat> Mellow Will. All right, so any of this could be significant. Morena means, um, is can be a woman's name, right? Morena, um, but it means brown or brown, brown or dark brown hair. All right, also brunette. All right, I also wrote down it was like related to Argentina, Brazil, Italian, Portuguese, Spanish people, all right? But Morena is also the sesotho word that means Lord, Chief, King, or Ruler, all right? So you are the Morena over your life, okay? You run that shit, okay, all right? All right, so I think that was it for the channeled messages, okay? Oh. The purple passion flower is also known as May pop. So the month of May could be significant. Also K-pop could be significant or just pop music. When I was looking up Morena, K-pop popped up for some reason. I'm like, what? <laughs> no, like K-pop, May pop. I don't know. I don't know. I just said it three times. I rebuke it. Okay. <laughs> I do know. All right. That could be significant as well. Pisces catching yourself, right? Um, because the first step in anything, like if you're trying to change something, awareness, right? Being aware of your thoughts, of your words, right? 
<clears throat> and when you're able to be aware, you're able to catch that shit, reel it back in, right? All right. So y'all, after all of that, and let me just tell y'all a little backstory real quick, all right? So I woke up this morning, and when I tell you money was on my mind, my mind was on money, my bills were on. I'm talking about I woke up anxious as shit. I'm like, what the fuck? I don't like that guy. Please help. And I asked. Like, I was legit like, God, uh-uh. This ain't it right here. This is not my vibration. I do not receive this shit, and I'm not going to sit in it. You know what I'm saying? Even if that was my vibration, I'm not identifying with that whole no more. You know what I'm saying? And you have that right. Okay, we get to choose what thoughts we want to um, hold on to. We don't necessarily control what thoughts come to us, right? But what we can do is pick and choose which ones we want to focus on, right? Because where your attention goes, your energy flows, all right? So God came through with Dr. Joe Dispenza and I listened to one of his messages today. I was like, thank you, God. Put me right back where I needed to be, right? Anytime that the enemy, the devil, your lower self, whatever you want to call it, when, when, <laughs> whenever it brings about negative emotions, thoughts, and feelings, and things like that, and you know, emotions is like the driving factor of manifestations, right? <clears throat> so whenever that happens, reel that shit back in and start a, um, a gratitude rampage, okay? Start a gratitude list. I started off thanking God for like the little shit, right? Like I was thanking God for my car because I was driving. Thanking God for my car. Thanking God for the gas in my car. Shit, thanking God for the leather on my seats. You know, just, just little things. You know what I'm saying? And that snowballed into me thanking God for the future me, right? Because when we have a vision of what we want for the future, we can work towards that shit, right? So I'm thanking God for giving me the mindset of future blue. The blue that's already living in my desired reality, right? I started thanking God for that. I put myself in that, those emotions and feelings, you know what I'm saying? I started visualizing the home that I want, right? The car that I want for my children, you know what I'm saying? Just visualization, putting myself in the energy of it is already done, right? Not focusing on what this 3D world is showing me, right? I'm not focused on that. This shit is an illusion. You understand me? The real... Mm, is when you close your eyes that's what's real and you connect with god right because your outer world is a reflection of your inner world right so when you start working on your inner world your beliefs your mindset it may take a second but it's going to start reflecting in your outer world it may come in as trickles you know in the beginning <clears throat> right like um somebody buying you a cup of coffee or treating you to lunch or doing some other kind gesture for you, right? And when you return that to somebody else, you keep that in flow, right? So you keep good coming back to that ass. You understand me, okay? Now look here now, I did pretty, not, this was this morning that I did all of these notes and stuff, okay? <laughs> now I'm in a high vibration, right? I done disconnected my, my aura from, you know, the cards and everything and I'm pulling for y'all. So I'm pre-shuffling on our deck, right? The affirmation deck or, um, that I created. The <laughs> I'm going to get it together. This card is on uh, the bottom of the deck. I trust the process before seeing the manifestation. And you know what else you can add to that? I thank God before I see the manifestation, right? I put myself in the energy before I see it. Because believing is seeing heard okay <laughs> all right so then y'all i get the african god is rising deck at and i'm like okay well let's catch a beat real quick let's let's catch a let's see what what pisces energy at y'all look at the damn card i said now wait a minute now because <laughs> i know i told this whole way to go okay scarcity right all right and this could be in any it doesn't have to be money um, it could be a scarcity of attention, love, whatever it is you desire. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it is you want to see in your world, right? You have the number 21 here that breaks down to the number three. The number three is always puts me in the mind of the three of pentacles, right? That's the first thing I think of the holy trinity and then the three of pentacles, right? But that is my collaborating with spirit team card. If you need something, baby, right? Ask for it. 
right? Start within first though, right? So don't ask for material shit first. Ask for peace, right? I mean, you can do whatever the hell you want to do, but I'm just trying to help, okay? <laughs> All right, but ask for peace of mind. Ask for joy. Ask for happiness, right? Ask for calmness in, in within, right? Because if you're calm and you have these things within, your without is going to reflect that. So even if you are in a situation that is not peaceful, you're in chaos, guess what? If you have peace within, even the chaos can't touch that ass. You get what I'm saying? Okay, now try it. Try it out. What is what? what it can't hurt. It can't hurt, but let's, let's, uh, no, hold on. Before we get to what this card means, I pre-shuffled these decks over here, y'all. I kid you not. On the top of this deck, you got the four coins. On the top of this deck, you have the four of mother freaking coins. I like to lost my shit when that happened. I said, what the fuck? Power on. Damn right. We cut the power to that scarcity shit. Hallelujah. Now, hold on for a second. We're going to turn it back on. <laughs> okay, hit that like button for your girl. Wait, wait. Fucking right. We turning the power on. 16, 16 was on the clock. Come through. Come through temperance. Okay, because we need your help to fight this devil. La, la, la. Okay, ain't nobody got time for this ninja. Ain't nobody got time, right? And what does he cause? Obsessing, anxiety, worry, fear, regret, doubt, despair. All those words, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody got time, ain't nobody got time because what you are abundant. You better know that shit now, you better know it. You are abundant, my ninja. But the four of coins is a card of like, literally how I woke up was in this energy. It's gone now. <laughs> but I literally woke up with money on my mind. You know what I'm saying? Which was affecting my heart. Okay? All right? He even got it under his feet. Like nobody can't take this from him because he's holding on to it so tightly. Right? But if you're holding on to it so tightly, right? Right? How can it be in flow? And it has to be in flow in order for it to flow back to you. But if you holding on to the shit and, and it is the ruling factor in your decision making and all the rest of it, no, no, power off on that hook. Okay, all right. I shuffled the cannabis deck and look, y'all, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> look at the two cards that were on the bottom of the deck, y'all, on the top of the deck, however you want to say it. Look, gratitude, ninja. And what gratitude bringing? Freaking miracles. Ah! It could be beneficial for you to go out in nature, okay? I talked to Mama Oki this morning. I was like, oh my goodness, this is in such alignment. And then it's birds and butterflies on this damn card, y'all. Look, birds and butterflies. Come on, morning doves and go frittily. Frittillary, that's it, frittillary. All right, <clears throat> tinctures could be significant for you. All right, I'm, I'm hearing um, mushrooms as well. I heard homeopathic. I don't know how to say that other word, but it's another pathic. A Aliopathic or something I'm hearing? I don't know what that is though, to be honest, okay? Yes, but you control your universe. This is the song, just a snippet of it that I wanted y'all to hear. You understand me? Let's see. Yeah, abundance is all that I focus on. So grateful, so much to be grateful for. I make some money, then go make some more. Create, cause that's what I'm created for. I go beyond the limits, no more boundaries. The sky is just the image and see. We control what clouds we see. I got it. I'm on with the spirit, I'm got it. I planted a seed and forgot it. I know you just see what you're striving. Yeah. Like everything that I desire. Get excited just cause I'm sure. Let's distract and keep my mind pure. What? Yeah. Reminder. I want it, I get it, I got it, I got What? Come on, I'm just saying, y'all. Go check your boy out, Mellow Wheel. He on, uh. He's on YouTube, Mellow Wheel TV. He has so many money <laughs> songs okay and abundant songs and affirmations and mantras and chants and shit for real um he helped the ninja out this morning too but 
let's talk about Miss Sukoyant, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. A Nissan, like Nissan, that type of car could be significant. It's funny because I was telling my son about Morena before I took him to school and when we went to uh, drop him off, I was right behind a Moreno. <laughs> and I was like, that's so similar to the word I was just talking about. So I don't know, that car could be significant, that type of car. But um, Sequoia, Sequoiant. Let's look her up. Nancy, that name could be significant too. It was another one I heard. Oh my God, what was the name? Val, Val, uh, I was behind a car and it said for Miss Val, V-A-L. Okay, so that name could be significant too. All right, so Sequoia, it says you have so much more. Let me show y'all the card. All right, beautiful artistry. This deck is just gorgeous. Where's the, that's what deck it is. And that's Oshun, come to Oshun, thank you. All right, but it says you have so much more than you realize. You have access to unlimited joy, love, good times, pleasure, and prosperity. Be grateful for your riches. Even if even if you think you ain't got none now. Be grateful. Thank God for it already. Because it's already done. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. It's what what you believe in your heart. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. That's where life springs. That's the first organ that is formed when we are forming in our mother's womb all right okay so embodiment right stop going to the ocean and asking for a thimble full of water <clears throat> it doesn't feel like it when you're desperate but scarcity and lack are an illusion prosperity is believing that there is an overflow more than enough love happiness well-being and money to go around okay buddha is coming through <laughs> talking about dukkha okay dukkha is uh suffering i think dukkha is it ain't a sanskrit word i forgot what kind of word it is <clears throat> but anyway um the buddha teaches that suffering comes from clinging to you know even desire actually he said is like a sin you know what I'm, quote unquote sin it's a lower vibration right um i still use that word but <laughs> um yeah so detachment right detaching from out it's already done so there's no need to you don't have to hold on to you four of coins you don't have to you don't have to hold on to, it's already it's yours it's yours step into it step into your divinity remember who you are okay i am here to wake that ass up okay i kid you not as soon as i said i'm here to wake that ass up my alarm went off on my phone y'all everything is in alignment you understand me and if you don't see the alignment yet open your eyes a little while to watch I'm telling you, not everything is, is just as it's supposed to be. Okay? All right. Okay. All right. Now, what you could do in the meantime, in between time, while you're waiting for your for your wishes or prayers to be answered, go within. Talk to God. Listen to God, actually. You know what I'm saying? Because we do a lot of talking. Do we do we meditate, though? And shh. Sh <laughs> Listen, right? All right. So back to um the the book all right so it doesn't feel like when you're desperate but scarcity and lack are an illusion prosperity is believing that there is an overflow more than enough love happiness well-being and money to go around vampires take from others because they don't have enough life force for themselves that is scarcity consciousness when you embody lack you are always hungry tired jealous and the like right all right so make a gratitude list what are you grateful for right now right and like i said <clears throat> i um started off with what i already have and then as i was thanking god for what i already have my vibration started increasing which caused me to look beyond what's going on right now right and to see my future self in the life that she is living, right? So then I started thanking God for what blue in the future blue is already experiencing, right? Time is an illusion too, y'all. Get into it, okay. All right, so let's see if anything else wants, to, oh, let's read um, gratitude. I want it, I get it, I got it. <laughs> I'm one with the spirit, I'm got it, yeah, okay? Okay, remember y'all debated it, huh? <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, gratitude. Hold on. Let's 
find her and oh my love is ringing hello angels hello all right this is arziki de Baron. page forte what is 40 break down to what is for stability right i'm telling you you're not gonna be able to get knocked knocked off your 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 shit like you're not gonna be able to this this i feel like god is really 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 um fortifying someone here okay okay so as i showed you before gratitude okay all right okay so Arziki Debaran measures the variables of energy coming from you. The wheel resembles the teachings of the cosmo cosmograms and medicine wheel. Following the sun, we enter the wheel in the east and exit the wheel in the west. The north and south represent our ascension and descension within the extremes of the wheel vortex. <clears throat> it's giving me wheel of fortune. The obstacle, I'm sorry, the oracle of rebirth rises on one side of the wheel as the oracle of chaos rides down the other showing that not always will you want a situation to last and vice versa but that is the cycle of life life is a constant change in luck relationships finances homes and lifestyle how you react my god bring that shit back <clears throat> how you react to the change is the key here do you fall into chaos or rise right remember it's just a phase. It's all cyclical, right? Zero four zero four on the clock. Jesus, hallelujah. Okay. All right. It says when this card emerges, it reminds you that each event in your life could be a blessing. Maybe you just got through your dark night of the soul, and this card is a reassurance that the sun is shining. You are loved, guided, and protected in all ways, always, right? If Arziki Dabaran has come into your spread today, ask yourself, how do I react to change, right? Do I meet opportunities when presented with them? Or do I make excuses to resist the change? Now, I'm going to say on that note, baby, your girl got some work to do. Because <laughs> I get good ideas all day long. And I'll be like, I'll do it later. i do it later. So that's that um, inspired action. You know what I'm saying? When you are uh when you when you get an idea download right that guidance go ahead and act on it inspire action right the law of attraction okay take that action baby right interesting let me tell y'all what else i found so um i don't even remember why oh i think i had it written on my board five five forty eight or something and i was already in the book of matthews right so i was like well shit, what what does matthew five forty eight say and it says something about like being perfect in the sight of God or being like God is perfect. So you are perfect, right? Because remember, I am, I am, right? That's God's name. That's what you identify as, as well. God is within, right? You are perfect just as you are. All right. But anyway, I was reading, let me see if I saved it on this phone. Yeah. I was reading because chapter five is the Beatitudes, right? That's like Jesus giving the speech wherever he was at. All right, to the folks, right? So Matthew 5 and 28 says, but I say to you that whoever looks at a woman to lust for her has already committed adultery with her in his heart. If y'all remember the other day, I think I, I don't remember what, yeah. both times I had a green dress on and we were talking about that and then um, the other dress I had on. But anyway, we were talking about the heart, matters of the heart, right? Everything is the heart. <laughs> Feel it in your heart. All right so this is the note i made from that i said did you get that he said it was already done because it was in the man's heart this man ain't pull out his thing he ain't put it in him <laughs> but it was already done because he, he in his heart he was lusting what is lust lust is an emotion it's a feeling right right okay all right so create that feeling of it is already done. Create that feeling. Know it in your heart. Know it by heart, okay? All right? Memory, okay? <laughs> you got three brains, right? And then your belly, right? Okay, 
So the man experienced a strong emotion, lust, along with his thoughts, right? His heart had already committed adultery. This means that when I combine a strong emotion with my thoughts of prosperity, it is already done. I therefore am prosperous, period. I believe it in my heart, so I am, okay? Ow! This was such an exciting message today. I'm excited for whoever, you know what I'm saying, resonated with this message. Um, yeah, I'm excited for you. Just get ready for miracles, okay? Get ready for miracles to come about. Understand me? All right, I just heard somebody say, I'm ready, Blue. Okay, put that in the comments. I'm ready. Okay, I'm ready, Blue. Shit, I'm ready, baby. I love y'all so very much, and I'm so grateful for you. As I, I do hope that y'all enjoyed um, the message today. And yeah, let me know. 0808 on the clock. Oh, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. All right. I love you. Let me know your thoughts down below. I'll talk to y'all down there in the next video or over on our second channel, Blue Phoenix, the Golden Goddess. All right. Love you. Talk to you later.